welcome back to our channel smooch loves honey where we give our opinion on different situations that's going on in society nobody asks us for it but we're gonna give it to y'all anyway surely is mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm honey smooch and we are the Bing bong. There you go. <laughs> all right. For all our new followers, thank you for following us. And for everybody that's been following us, we want to thank you for following us as well. We ask that you hit that subscribe button because we're sending out hearts. Hearts. Hearts, <laughs> hearts, 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 hearts. All right. Let's get into it. Now, do first question, first topic that was dropped in our inbox was, do you think women are desperate for relationships and settle for any guy? Um, yeah, sometimes women can be desperate for relationships. Like, they can't just be by themselves. You ever had somebody that's always in a relationship? Like, they leave one relationship and go to the next one. Like, damn, give yourself time to be by yourself. Give your time. Ooh, sis, give I yourself feel like time you talking to about heal. Me. I feel like you're talking <laughs> I feel like she's talking about Give yourself you. some time to heal. Like, give yourself some time to be by yourself, be alone, woo But, yeah, to answer the question, yes. I do think women are desperate. Well, not all. Some of them are desperate to be in relationships. Okay, okay. Well, I am going to be 100% honest and 100% open because that's what we do because we some real-ass bitches, right? Real-ass bitch give a fuck about a nigga? And don't. <laughs> but I'm going to agree. Yes. In she was talking about me a little bit indirectly, not on purpose, but she was because I used to be that person. Now I'm two years clean. Snap snaps for me, bitch. Two years clean. I've been single for two years and you do have to learn how to be by yourself. It is a different experience, but you don't need nobody to, you know, make you happy. You just got to do how you do and be by yourself. Like if you can't be by yourself, you can't be with nobody. So it's like at this point, <laughs> you just need to be by yourself. And that's the conclusion I came to. I need to be by myself, not in a relationship. Because every time you turn around, I end up from one, one relationship to another relationship to another relationship to another relationship. Bitch, that's toxic. Sack ass nigga, sack ass nigga, sack ass nigga, sack ass nigga. Sack -ass nigga. Thank you. And my girl been two years clean and she just been up, up, up ever since. Living life to the fullest because you gotta, don't, at uh, the end of the day, being in a relationship involves two people. And when I say it involves two people, it involves two people that actually want to, that actually have a like goals and you're trying to build together. Don't be in a relationship just so you can be fucking a bitch raw. It be so many niggas out here. So many <laughs> niggas feel, want to be in a relationship with a bitch because they want to fuck them raw. Thank like, you. Like, bye. We is not doing that. Like, you only to be, you in a relationship with that girl because you want to fuck her raw. You was just with her, and that was your girl. And you was just with her. And you you was just with Sierra. You was just with Dominique. Tico. Like niggas be like that too. Like I just I cannot ugh, make me gag. Y'all be like that, jumping from relationship to relationship because bitch, you don't want to be by yourself, and you don't want to have protected sex. You want to have unprotected sex because you want to know how that cat feel. Bitch, yeah, it's one. Yeah, you like it. <laughs> if you do it, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> ain't it? Cause. <laughs> but yeah, women do be desperate and that's that's an ugly look for us because I felt that way and you gotta stand for something or you fall for anything. And that's what the fuck I was doing, falling for anything. Now <laughs> bitch. <laughs> bitch can't even get close. <laughs> can't get close, bitch. I'm like the motherfucking senator, bitch. Bodyguard. She gonna elbow <laughs> your ass, get the fuck. No, she ain't doing that. Yeah, so I can hundred percent vouch for that. I wasn't Bitch, y'all was desperate, yeah. I wanted a boyfriend so bad, wanted to be in a relationship so bad, and every single one of them fucking failed and was not worth it and wasted. I'm not going to say wasted my time because it taught me very valuable lessons about myself. So I'm not going to say it was time wasted, but it was a lesson learned, and I enjoyed the ride while I was riding, and I'm glad that I'm off. Amen. 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 <laughs> snap, 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 bitch. Snap, snap, snap. All right. So, do you like oral sex? I love it. And I love when they be eating my booty. <sighs> I like oral sex. But I don't like getting my booty ate because it be tickling. <laughs> but I want my it butt. It tickles. Licky. I don't know. I can't get jiggy with it. Wait, it do tickles. This. Uh, uh, yeah, to my butt I love it tickles it. I cannot my butt be like yeah it be happy cause I, I like when a bitch be eating my ass mm -hmm. like, with a nigga. that shit tickle <laughs> and then like 
But yeah, I like eating oral sex. It's a but whole. but you know, like you ever had somebody that ate your ate your stuff and then once you once you, you know, um, come and they just keep on doing it, it don't start hurting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that. I don't want you to suck on my <laughs> I don't pussy. like that. I don't want you to suck on it until it start hurting. Just suck on it until I come. And when then I after come, that, stop. When I hit that bitch, I can't. I'm done. Don't do that. Cause don't suck it's my start, pussy. It start. It start hurting. Like every ir- like irritating. irritating feeling. I don't know. I don't That's like. That's just it. like a bitch trying to suck your dick after you come. That's the same feeling we have. But you know, some niggas be liking no, it. No, like suck it still. That bitch suck it still. Like some niggas hard. like that. I don't, I don't know. I ain't never. I don't ran. Into ran one. I don't ran into a few. I, I ain't never like ran it. into one. They don't be liking for you to suck it. Like suck it, suck it, suck it. They be liking for you to like caress it. A little bit. But I don't know. I don't like that shit. But I do like my ass eight. And I, I love it. That's my favorite thing. First of all, you got too much booty back there. What they be like? They whole face be in your booty? Girl, they be like. <laughs> and then they be like, sit on my face. And I'll, I I don't like that. I do not like sitting on people's face. Because it be requiring me too much work. up To, <laughs> <laughs> to not smother them. It be requiring too fucking much. Because I be like. If I just sit down on you, bitch, you gonna be like, bitch, get the fuck up. You put all your body weight down, just like. Mm, mm. No, but you know, I you gotta like kind of hold yourself up a little bit so you won't put all your body weight down on their face. I won't be having time for that shit. So let me lay on my back, and you do how you do. Hell, I can even turn around, and let your ears from the back. <laughs> you gonna eat my ass if you eat my pussy <laughs> from the back. You eating his ass, nigga. That's just what you it is. You eating his ass, nigga. Cause that's what I do. That's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> you gonna eat this ass? And for the beat. For any, I don't, what I I don't like when niggas be DMing me, or they some people don't approach me in person and they be like, I would just want to eat your ass, bitch. No, them type of people cannot eat my ass. Invite only. This ass is invite only. Only if I invite you to eat it, you can eat it. You don't even know me. You just gonna ask me to eat my ass. Like, you nasty. That means you be in everybody fucking DM telling them you wanna eat their ass. Won't we need everybody ass? Yeah, no. That's not what we doing. We, we, that ain't cute. We ain't doing that, Playboy. We ain't doing that. We is not doing that. Let me see. Somebody said something about some music. Being that we're recording it for YouTube. You know, you cannot be using people's music without their permission. Oh, yeah, so. definitely. We probably can <laughs> use um the instrumental, but uh, bitch, who want to hear instrumental? I want to <laughs> hear the actual words of the damn song. What is it? What it do? Um, 144. Ain't nobody... Ain't nobody want to eat your ass, LOL. <laughs> Boy, they, listen, they be begging, okay? Begging, but I be They like, be begging oh. to eat the booty like groceries? They be begging to be like... That's how they be trying to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Moving along. Because my grades go cut the fuck up about this. Yes. I cannot. All right. So how do you feel about older men talking to underage girls? Mm. I feel like being that the full disclosure, if you know, then you know, this is one of the moments where y'all about to know. Growing up, I talk to all the older older guys. Like, you know, y'all know when y'all was in high school, when y'all was in middle school, and she was getting dropped out by that nigga. Or well, y'all was in high school, and she was in the car with somebody that was not that from was y'all grown school. As fuck. That was grown as fuck. Y'all know what time it is. So, yeah, I was one of, I was one of them girls, and I did that. And now, fast forward into adulthood, that shit is a mental like a mental barrier. That is not the way that fucking society is supposed to work. However, growing up, that's all we was exposed to. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I agree because I was the girl too that was getting picked up, drawn off by the older niggas. I had loved it. Me some older niggas. I don't give a fuck, bitch. But that goes back to our upbringing too. That yeah. goes back to the way, the things that we saw in our own household, the things we saw in our own neighborhoods this was a normal thing to do this wasn't like this was like for foreign for some for freaking fucking porn 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 child porn people in their head that's a normal thing to do because they got a whole little group of people who do that child porn shit in our society well the time we grew up that was a normal thing so that was what was being done not like out in the open but 
Bitch, if you knew that you knew. Bitch, if you knew, you knew. So, yeah. But bitch, we talked to the, I talked to the older nigga. She talked to the older I niggas. wasn't going to go tell. I wasn't going to go tell. Like, I ain't tell on none of the niggas. And I kept that shit G to this day. Because, bitch, that was then. This is now. We did what we did. Whatever. You was 10 years older than me. 15 years. 20 years. 25 bitch, years you was older, older than me. to be my daddy. My bitch, grandma. you old enough to be my daddy. Yeah, but grandpa, you, you had me on. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, now, like, if I was to have a child, if I had a girl, if I had a daughter, like, no, ma'am, no fucking ma'am. We gonna break Fuck that no. generation of curse, bitch. We ain't hell like, no. Talk to bitch, I got a daughter. Talk to my daughter if you want to. Talk to her. Talk. I mean, just whisper, ear, whisper something in her motherfucking ear. Bitch, you going to jail? And I'm coming to every court date. I don't give a fuck how many older niggas I talk to back in my day. <laughs> back in my <laughs> day. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Bitch, you're going to jail. I'm going to make sure of it because, bitch, don't do. Go find somebody your motherfucking age. Go find somebody that's 18. I don't give a fuck if she's 18. I still feel like that's a little too young. But, hey, she grown. But, you she know, old, a, lot of old, a lot of older niggas like young girls. They do, like, but, bitch, 18 and up. No, they be liking them young. Yeah, so they can raise them. So they can mold them into what the fuck they want them to be. <sighs> dark, no. dark side aunt said, no, that is not okay. And I completely agree with you. It ain't. It wasn't that is okay. not okay. It wasn't okay when they was doing it to us. It wasn't okay. It, was, it wasn't okay. It was, it was never okay. It was never okay. We not but, saying it's okay. But what I'm saying is, bitch, you talk to my motherfucking daughter and let your ass be over 18. You going to jail. I don't give a fuck if you just turn 18. Bitch, you going to jail. Leave her alone. She too young. She don't know no better. She don't know no better. She'll go fucking dive off the motherfucking cliff if you told her to. Because she don't know no better. She's a child. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. We ain't doing it. Oh. And for anybody who do be talking to them little girls, bitch, don't let me find out. Because let me find out. I'm going to report your motherfucking ass. Homemade rocking it. Y'all been cheated on by an old nigga. First of all, I've never been in a relationship with an older nigga. I have. Actually, I have one time, but we both was tricking, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, bitch, I was tricking on him. He was tricking on me. And yeah, bitch, I was cool with that. Do you? <laughs> I've been in a relationship with an older nigga, and bitch, yeah, he was tricking. He was tricking out of both hands, legs. Because again, bitch, I ain't know no better. I was a child. What the fuck? Mature ladies is my deal. No young girls. They knows too too what shaddy. They will give me a cold snotty. I guess he was oh, trying snot, to say snotty. <laughs> they know too snotty. They'll give him a cold. <laughs> Just leave the young girls alone. They don't. That's it. That's no matter, all. I, I told her. Before the camera even got turned on, I told her, I don't give, no, I think it was Drika. What? I think it was my other sister. But anyway, I said, I don't give a fuck how much my daughter want to pop her motherfucking pussy and how much she trying to give it to you. I mean, she trying to get that pussy to you. I don't give a fuck. You better use your greater judgment and be like, no, because your one thing about your mama, she said she was going to put a nigga in jail about you. And I don't think a nigga want to go spend no years in jail. Bitch, you, you don't, you don't let a hoe take you out the streets. You don't got tricked out the streets. Like, nah. Mm-mm. 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 My daughter older. So listen, she's at the age where, bitch, minds are curious. So I don't give a fuck. And, and you know, like, the, like, I don't know, older niggas, like, by you being so young like that, it's so easy for them to, like, get you to do... Manipulate you. Yeah, manipulate you and get you to do shit that you probably don't feel comfortable doing, but since he asking you to do it, you gonna do it. Because you don't know no better. But at that age, by 13 and 14 years old, we just, well, feet girls, we just, well, we just know all, bitch, we know. We know. Oh, a bitch can't tell me shit. Can't tell me shit. Bitch, we know. That's because it's another topic for another day. Yeah. But fathers play a key role in their daughters' lives. They don't Facts. realize how important they are, but y'all do. So if you not as there as much as you should be there, or she calling you and you fucking ignoring her phone call because you laid up with some bitch or whatever the fuck it is you're doing, take time out for your fucking daughter. That's another topic for another day, but... Y'all play a key role. Definitely do. But we're going to keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Move it along. Do you think 
a relationship will last long if one partner is always mad or negative. <laughs> Hell no. That shit is not going to last long because one thing I hate is for a bitch to nag me and bug me like consistently like don't do that like every time you look around you got an attitude about something every time you look around you mad about something complaining about something like like damn bitch you went to sleep mad you woke up mad like what the fuck is wrong with you like i can't be with somebody like that i cannot be with somebody that always have an attitude 24 i'm gonna say this i do be having an attitude sometimes i does attitude around this motherfucker but Every day, all day, like, nah, like, bitch, who got time? Who got time for that? It take up too much time and energy for you to be mad and have a fucking attitude. Does it not? It take a lot of energy for you to have a fucking attitude. It do. It does. It take a lot of energy for you to ignore somebody. It take a lot of energy for you to be mad. It take a lot of energy for you to slam that fucking door. (laughs) (laughs) It takes a lot of energy for you to fix your motherfucking food and not fix my shit or fix your food, fix my food and leave my shit on the counter. Sit your ass down and start eating your motherfucking food. Well, bitch, where the fuck my shit at? Bitch, on the counter. You got two feet? You can go get your motherfucking <laughs> stuff. It takes a lot. And I used to be one of them angry ass bitches. I was so, I used to be, oh my God, in this relationship I was in, I used to always be so mad. She know, because she was the, I used to always be so, bitch, I would go with an attitude. I go to bed with an attitude. Throughout the day, I got an attitude. Bitch, don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Don't smile at me. Bitch, don't say good morning to me. Bitch, stop fucking talking to me. That's how mad I used to be. But I used to be so mad because I was in a relationship that I just hated. I fucking hated everything. But I didn't like the motherfucker that I was in a relationship with. And I was so mad. And I'm like, bitch, why are you still here then? Why why, why the fuck you staying so long if you, you know? So one day I was Because like, you was comfortable. Yeah, that. Because I was comfortable. Because I had this whole thought in my mind that who wants somebody with three kids? Who want a girl with three kids? That's what I had in my mind. That's why I stayed for so long. Because I'm like, damn, bitch, I done got pregnant again. Now he going to leave me with these three fucking kids, bitch. Like, <laughs> I ain't want to be by myself with them fucking kids. And then I'm like, damn, I got to try to date again and find somebody who want to talk to me with these three kids. Like, it was just a lot in my stupid mind that I was going through, but I came to realization. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fuck that shit, Fuck bitch. That Fuck that shit. Listen, bitch, you ain't got to talk to me. You ain't got to look at me. You ain't got to breathe on me, bitch. If I'm on fire, you ain't even got to set me the fuck out. If you going to make my motherfucking life hell, leave me alone, okay? And I came to that, to that conclusion. I left that relationship. Got in another shitty relationship. Was mad all the motherfucking time. Got out of that relationship and nah, I just be chilling. I'll be like, where's the party, Holmes? <laughs> <laughs> just be chilling. Like, that's, I can't, I don't, it won't work, bitch. Cause somebody gonna get tired. Somebody gonna get tired eventually. Either the mad motherfucker gonna get tired or the person who always being mad at gonna get tired. And who the fuck won't, and this is what this man told me. He told me, he said, I ain't used to come home because. You always mad, and on uh, I've been out in the streets doing all this, doing that, doing that, and I gotta come home. I just want to relax. I just want to come home and be comfortable. But I gotta come home to a mad motherfucker every day. Um, why would I want to come home today? And my feelings was hurt because I'm like, bitch, why am I mad? I'm mad because you're doing shit that I don't fucking like that you're doing. Shatira, if he keep doing it. He don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck. (laughs) Like, you telling him what the problem is, you only making yourself more angry and more bitter because you keep trying to please him or keep trying to stay and make him do right by you. And, bitch, he clearly don't give a fuck and don't want to. So you just got to move on. And that's what I had to do. I I moved on. And, bitch, he want me back. He want me back. Be on my trail. But guess what? This ship has motherfucking sail. Bitch. Gone. Okay. I'm all the way over there in Costa Rica. Some of <laughs> Gone. So Shut if you a mad up. motherfucker in your relationship, you know, n- niggas always be in relationships and don't be liking the bitch they be in relationships with. Oh my God. <laughs> they will literally love the fuck out of you, but they can't stand the motherfucker that they got to go home to every night. Why the fuck are you there? It must be stability. Stability. I'm convinced it's the stability. Because K 
can't stand the motherfucker. Can't stand this bitch. Can't motherfucking stand her. But love the shit out of but love the shit out of you, but can't stand the motherfucker they gotta go home to. I always wanna be on your trip, ask you what you doing. Wait, 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 wait. You need to go ask your motherfucking girlfriend what she doing, where she at. Bitch. Call your friend. Don't call them up <laughs> questioning me, bitch. It's two things I don't like. Being checked up on and being motherfucker questioned. Hate it. <laughs> bitch, I been gone for 24 hours. Then you call and check up on me. Bitch, don't call my motherfucking phone. I done gone. I'm gone for four hours. Where you at? Bitch, mind my motherfucking business. Hello, somebody. When you go outside and you hanging out with your homeboys, do I call your motherfucking phone? Do I blow you up? No. Give me that same motherfucking courtesy, okay? I don't like that. Don't do mm, that. Mm, mm. I don't like it. Don't do that. But we gonna keep it moving. Keep it, keep it, keep it moving. Now this is, this is funny. This is this is a funny topic. Do you think niggas give oral sex because their penis is small? I don't even know how I feel about that because... A nigga dick was small and he never had and gave me oral sex before. But he knew his dick was small. But he never gave me oral sex before. So I don't even know how I feel about that question. I think niggas with little dicks, <laughs> niggas who have little dicks, they should be experts in giving head. Because, bitch, what the fuck else you going to do? What the fuck else you got off of that's down there between your legs? You might as well go ahead and go ahead and do what it is that yeah. you gotta do. Like <laughs> you might as well become a certified headmaster. Give me the sloppy of the toppy. You might as well because what the fuck else you gonna do? Your dick small, your balls little. You what the fuck is you gonna do? You can't. It's not, bitch. I don't want no balls. What the fuck you gonna do with your balls? You know, you can do me I don't want that. I don't even like that. I don't like balls. I do it because you know <laughs> niggas be like it. But hairy balls. I done had a hairy ball <laughs> a time or two. I had to pull that hair out. But you know, bitch be down there like a turbo. Yeah. But anyway, that ain't even, that ain't even the question. The question was about niggas with small dicks. <laughs> Give me head. These niggas need to be certified head. What you call them? Magicians? Head master. Certified head master. Head master. You if you got a small dick. Because but you know, I uh, some some people say some niggas with small dicks know how to work it. They do, but bitch, I don't listen, know how true that is. You ever had sex with a nigga with a small dick? Oh yeah, yeah. you did just say that. And the whole time you laying there or getting hit from the back, what whatever whatever position, it ain't too many positions they can do. <laughs> First of all, there's not many positions that niggas with little dicks can do. You either gonna get missionary or you gonna get hit from the back. All that other extra shit on, one the, side. Leg up on the side, bitch. That shit they can't do it because bitch is gonna fall out. Matter of fact, they what? can't fall out. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even reach it because it's too much. Ad- niggas with small dicks love bitches with ass, but that's a whole other topic. But they can't even reach it because it's too much ass, or they can't reach it because of the position you in. So it's two positions: missionary or from the back. And the whole time you getting fucked by a nigga with a little dick, what you be saying to yourself? <sighs> I'm so ready for this to be over. <laughs> Damn, I should have just not even came. Damn, I should never answer the phone. Man, why the fuck did I get this nigga my number? <sighs> oh, I'm ready. Bitch, I'm finna call this other nigga when I leave. <laughs> 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 already setting up the next dick appointment. Why are you getting dick? Like it's you. First of all, that don't even count. I ain't even getting. No Wait. Dick. Benji, Ben, whoever the fuck is y'all even talking about? We talking about you just you, you must have just joined the live. We talking about niggas that got small dicks. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimps, bitch. Little That's dicks. what we talking about. We talk about the little dick niggas, and little dick niggas need love too. Little dick niggas need love too, just like why pussy bitches need love too. We all need a little love. All I'm saying is, if you gonna either have a wide pussy or a little dick, you need to be certified in head. I agree, sister. I agree. And you need to eat ass because that's just what it is. I don't. You ain't gotta eat a nigga's ass, females, but niggas. If you you need to. So eat what her if ass. they got a small, big ass dick? Like a I'm, small, I'm fat dick. Short and fat. fat. 
Bitch, no. You're not about to stretch my motherfucking pussy out. No. You're not about to take me to the tundra. No. Fuck no, bitch. <laughs> uh-uh. Hell no. I got to save this shit. Bitch, I got to get a husband one day. Like, no, bitch. You're not about to so be tan short, my shit Like, this short and it's like fat. First of all, what you feeling? First of all, first, I be like. What is you touching? I I don't have sex with a guy with a small with a small penis. And the whole time I was doing it, I was like. I just wanted to just lay it up. <laughs> I just wanted to lay it up like fucking Oprah did in fucking Color Purple. Just lay it up because I want you to get the fuck off of me. But, you know, you don't want to just sit there and be quiet. He over here uh, 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 making all this noise. That's when you got to hit that fake mom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you ain't finna get no shit. Damn. Uh, uh, damn. <laughs> nah, Ooh, you ain't finna get none shit. of that. You gonna damn. get up. Mm-hmm. A little small moans and here that's and me there. being courteous. Yeah, because I really don't feel <laughs> nothing, but I don't want to hurt your feelings. Don't feel nothing. And bitch, first of all, my pussy ain't big. Bitch, your dick is little. I know a little dick when I see a little dick. And I know a big dick when I see a big dick. I know a medium dick when I see a medium dick. And I know what my pussy can handle. And a little dick, my pussy can handle a little dick. A big dick, big dick, my pussy can't handle a big dick. I don't do big dicks. Regular size dick is, is that's my preference, regular size. Somebody said we hate smelly coochie. Okay, I will. I will hope so. I would definitely hope so. That means her pH balance is off. Bing bong. <sighs> when you smell, when you having sex with a girl, be like, damn, babe, what's up with your pH? <laughs> <laughs> she gonna look at you like, bitch, what? It- and um. Yeah, that means her pH balance is off and she probably got smelly. a, a BB, probably like a bacteria, a bacteria infection. infection. Cause what look y'all at, don't know uh, is oh. Well, I'm going to say a yeast infection, but sometimes a yeast infection don't have no smell to it. Yeah, it don't. It just have, like, that, that clunky, cottage cheese. Yeah. And sometimes you get, well, nah, bitch, what? you got the cottage cheese. I was going to say maybe you could get the odor without the cottage cheese, but bitch, that's oh, something nah. else. So, yeast infection is yeast infection, but you got cottage cheese, but you got a yeast infection. Yeah. And it, it, it's okay. And it's, it's okay. okay. It's perfectly fine because we as women, what y'all don't, what y'all men don't understand is you can't just be nutting off in the bitch because that shit fucks up a nigga pH balance. That fucks us up. It feels good to y'all, but when she running that bathroom, she trying to get that shit up out of her, that's because it's about to fuck That's up why they pH tell you balance. every time after you finish having sex, you got to pee just to like flush, flush whatever. Even if he didn't nut in you, still just pee. Any foreign object that's stuck inside of a woman's vagina, the vagina is in there like, bitch, what the fuck is going on? What is this? Yeah, you got a little bacteria on your penis. Not saying nothing wrong with you, but it gets inside of all us. And then our, our vagina does what it does to try to mask it, if that makes sense to y'all, which it probably won't. But anyway, you can't be around here nothing, bitch. Cool, smooth, black. Stop fucking without condoms. Even if you fuck with a condom, it don't matter. Even when you fuck, some women when they some fuck, women period, is is very like sensitive. sensitive down like some women like is very sensitive down there. So the littlest things can cause them to get a yeast infection, not because they dirty or not because or a bacteria infection. In, any of that. None of that little crazy shit that people be saying, oh, that whole guy always getting used to fashion because she dirty. Or she be fucking these niggas raw. No, the l- slightest, littlest things can cause a bitch to get a yeast infection. Too much sugar. um, Fucking not drinking enough water. Or whatever the case may be. Like, even condoms can knock a bitch pH balance out. So, it the can. slightest, littlest things. Soap. Fucking. Uh, fingers. Fingers. Um, penises. Uh, what else? Um, staying in wet clothes too long. All type of shit. It's a whole bunch of shit. It's a lot to take care of this cooter. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to take care of this tuna cat. It go. It's a lot. So if you get a woman who vaginas don't smell like nothing when y'all fucking, keep her because guess what? She takes her time with that pussy. She does what she needs to do to make sure that pussy is clean, clear, and ready to be fucked. That ain't keep our her. fault then. I just sat here and said anything can cause a woman pH balance to be thrown out. Rather it's her fucking with a condom or rather it's fucking her raw and you pulling out or rather it's you fucking her and nothing in her. Yeah, that's exactly. That's so what I'm saying. Doesn't necessarily mean slack 
means pH balance could be off from anything. Laugh out loud. Learn something new every day. Yeah. It's the yeah. hardest thing about y'all got it easy. It's hard being a woman because we got to deal with so much different shit. And one of the most important things, well, not this is not the most, but one of the important things to most women is making sure our vagina is healthy. Because if you sit down and you smell something, Bitch, there's a problem. First of all, you can smell yourself before anybody else can. Like, I can smell myself before she can smell me. So just do a shower. Somebody says, a shower ain't going to... What the fuck you going to put the soap inside your pussy? Put, <laughs> put some motherfucking soap inside your, your penis hole. Put some soap in there and you come back and you tell me what the fuck you experience. Let, tell me if that shit burn. Or not. Okay? Because listen, ain't nobody doing all that. If you, you women, a woman, if you fucking your girlfriend or whatever the fuck... A vagina gonna always have its own odor. That's just what it is. It's a vagina. It cleans itself. It does what it's supposed to do. So you don't even have to stick no soap. All that dish and all that shit. Actually, my doctors were um my OBGYN told me that dish ain't good. I dish one time. That was because I seen my sister did it. Not her, but I seen my sister do it. So I tried to do it one time. And just being into some shit, but later on down the line, I found out that addition wasn't I good did for that you. shit because I seen my sister, my other sister do that shit, and that motherfucker burnt the fuck out of my cootie cat. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? I had the, the little thing, the little shower head. I was like, <laughs> that shit was burning. And later in life, I found out that that shit is not good. Because the vagina out of, like, cleans itself. It cleans yeah, itself. no, that don't mean you don't have to take baths, bitch. You still need to go wash your ass. But you don't have to put no bar soap and shit up there. Eh, you're not supposed to do All that. All that mask in the older summer eve oh, shit. Summer mask eve, older, no. summer eve ain't good for the vagina either. No, bitch, but, you need to just go get your vagina checked out and figure out what the fuck is causing the odor. Yeah. Let's not mask the odor. Let's figure out what the fuck the problem is. If you can stick your... Me, her, we do the vagina check. Before I give this cootie cat to somebody, I know this is high quality shit down here, okay? Right? Right. All right. <laughs> you stick your vagina, your finger in your vagina, you swear that motherfucker around, pull it back out. Little lick. And if it tastes good, it smell good, bitch, it's good to go. Or you do the booty check. Well, you stick Let your me, finger, your hand, your hand like the side of your hand like this, you turn Wiggle. like that. Why you, well, while you inside the shower, you do the hand check like this. And then you swipe it between your butt like a little credit card. Swipe, swipe it. Wiggle a little bit. Do it slow so you can catch any sniff and then smell it. Yeah. It's good to go. Yeah. Ah, this is some good shit. This nigga about to enjoy this motherfucking <laughs> meal, bitch. Okay? Okay. Oh, Let's man. not play no games. Listen, I've just said, and for anybody that basically keep y'all private parts clean before you give it up. Pretty much. Basically. Pretty Boom. much. Boom. And if you did the booty check or the vagina check and you smell a, a whiff or something or you stink, that means you need to take another bath or just wash it a little bit wash more. Wash it a little harder. Because sometimes it. you be having to really... Girls with big butts, I be like, oh, bitch. If girls with bigger butts than ours, I be like, oh, I know her shit. Get a little stink while her period be coming on. Because I'm like, that's a lot of ass back there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, God damn. I know I'm going through a bit much over here. And that, to keep this motherfucker clean, so I can only imagine what she going through over there with that big ass donkey ass. Yeah. That's crazy. I will have to agree. But, fellas, fun fact, bitch, FYI, if you smell a little, bitch, Y'all niggas nasty. Y'all gonna keep fucking any motherfucker. <laughs> you just gonna turn your head to the yeah. side. And, mm, mm, I ain't fucking this bitch no more. But I'm gonna get this nut. <laughs> I'm already here. Fuck it. Why not? Ah, bitch, I done drove 30 minutes for this pussy. And I bought this bitch some McDonald's. Ah, bitch, I'm fucking this pussy tonight. <laughs> but if you smell a little woot the woot woot the woot, you know, just casually have a conversation with her. She probably gonna crush your ass up. But you yeah. Know, mm -hmm. Cool and handsome and say, hey, what about them girls that be using the squirt thing? What the fuck is that about? He must be talking about the, the dish rose. Shit. Oh. Oh. What you talking about? What are you talking about? What squirt thing? The dish? The dish? The thing they stick inside of them? And then and squeeze squirt it? Because we just talked about that. Yeah. But moving on. Moving, moving on. on moving further news. In other news. um, Do black people need to act a certain way in front of white people? No. <laughs> what you get is what you get if it's you don't throw a fit yeah I, what you get is what you get baby like what I'm supposed to when I'm around white people what I'm supposed to do oh no I can't 
I can't do this because I'm in front of white people. I feel like it's a it's time, a time and, a place and place for everything. For everything. But if I'm around, like, okay, you just go inside the grocery store and you just in the grocery store doing grocery store people shit. Right. right. <laughs> okay. So um, you you see a whole bunch of white people or whatever. I don't act no, no different. When I come in that bitch... I don't act no motherfucking different. That's what I'm saying. Bitch, I'm still about looking at these I'm motherfucking still, potatoes before I put them in the bag. I'm still about to smell this shit before I buy it. And I'm going to open it. And if it's too many bananas on the thing, I might just take two off. Because I, I don't need, need all, all that. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, no. I don't think that you should you should act a certain type of way in front of white people. Like, like she said, it's a time and place for everything. It's a time and a place for everything. I feel like I don't. I do not alter the way I act for other people. However, I do alter the way I act according to the place that I am in. Mm -hmm. Okay? So if I'm at work, I'm not going to be acting like I'm home doing this motherfucking podcast. If I'm at my kid's school, I'm not about to be acting like I'm you at just, the motherfucking club. You just got to act accordingly. That's all. Act accordingly. Like, story time, bitch. I went to get my nails done at this new place. <sighs> Lux Nails. FYI, don't fucking go there. But anyway, I went there, walked in the place. The only black person in there. I was the only black person. But I ain't had nothing gave a fuck because I needed my nails done. So I waited an hour for the lady to come do my shit, whatever. The lady act like she didn't want to do my shit. Like she was just acting like she didn't know how to do nails. I'm like, you don't know how to do that? So I just, she was like, I can't do that. And I looked, and I said, you can't, you know, do whatever, whatever. She was like, no. I was like, okay. She went to talk and talk and talk. I just stopped talking, looked at the TV, because, bitch, I'm about to cuss your motherfucking ass out in three, two, one. So let me, and I, you know what? I did it for the fucking culture. I'm telling you, I did it for the culture because I was like, you know what? I'm in front of all these Caucasian people right now. And, and, and they want to see me act up. They want to see me cut up real bad because... It wasn't, the lady had done just did somebody, this lady, this white lady nails, this Caucasian lady, she had just did her nails and she did them real pretty. She did what the fuck I asked her to do on my nails. She did what I asked her to do on that lady nails. But when I asked her to do my nails like how she did her nails, she told me she couldn't do that. I ain't go back and forth with her. I said, okay, that's fine. Let me just pay for what it is that I got, which was a little pedicure. Let me just pay for that and I'll just be on my, by, by my way. Lady come over, other receptionist, she said, what's the problem? I tell her what the problem is. She said, well, I could just have somebody else. I said, no, let me just pay for what it is that I got, and I will be on my way. She said, you sure? I said, I'm positive. She said, I'm sorry about that. Da, da, da. I said, it's okay. Then I double back. I said, no matter of fact, no, it's not okay, but I'm going to let it go today because it is what it is. Take my little $49, and I went on about my business. Bitch, I will never be back. But I did not. Cut up because I said I'm gonna do it for the culture and I'm gonna make sure that's I what say, somebody just said. You didn't want to embarrass us, <laughs> no, I didn't want to embarrass my people because that's what they expect out yep. of us. That they, they expect for you to go up to here with you know, when you get a service that you're not satisfied with, they expect for us to act out of character. Sometimes you got to show them that we ain't all like that. I can get like that. You get my motherfucking time wrong, but this ain't that serious. This ain't that serious. I'm going to let it go. And I did it for the culture. And I just moved on with myself and went on by my business. Went to where the fuck I should have went at in the first place. In the hood. Where I should have went at. Where I normally go. And I got my full say. She did. She did. She did her thing. I don't like, know why the fuck nice. she took her ass off front of her any motherfucking ways. Because I was trying something else. But when I seen all the white people, I should have knew, knew better. It's just something. And then everybody turned around and looked at me like, bitch. You out of place. Very much gave me out of place, out out the gate. But you know, whatever. Are you are you looking for somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> are you lost, ma'am? <laughs> but y'all, some queens, and we should get what we paid for. Facts. It is, and I got what I paid for. I did the, the, the little pedicure, and I just was over that shit. You know how it is when you go. You ever been somewhere with your fucking mama or your girlfriend, and they done pissed her off by her food, and and she just oh bitch, she oh my god, shit. you dead I'm ready, ass hungry. I'm ready to go at like that's how I am. <laughs> you be dead ass hungry. You like, babe, let's just. I'm gonna eat the tomato. No, you didn't. 
ask for tomatoes, you're not going to get the motherfucking tomatoes on your sandwich. They're going to take that shit back and remake it because it's cold. Yep. It ain't even that serious, but guess what? It's the principle. Bitch, she got her shit hot. I want my shit hot. Fuck. And nigg- niggas, they, uh, they, they will accept a fucked up meal. Some they of will. Them. Some of them will. They, they'll be like, all right, whatever. I'll just peel they, it off. I'll just take it off. No. Excuse me. Can you, um, he didn't ask for this. Can you take this back and give him what he asked for? Oh, he didn't want any onions, pickles, tomatoes, lettuce. You put everything that he didn't want on there. So can Bitch, you take he asked it for back? a hamburger. You gave him a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> can you take it back? Nah, baby, it's great. No, bitch, it's not straight. She's taking it the fuck back right now. I cut up when it's time to cut up. And it's a certain kind of way that I cut up. I cut up and get shit done. You can't cut up. All ratchet and ghetto and shit, and expect for these people to want to do some shit for you. Exactly, you can't do that. You have to cut up a Karen. You have to be a Karen, yeah, and get shit the fuck done. That way, they know you just not this one of these little dingy ass black women that's just walking around and being all ghetto and ratchet. No, I get shit the fuck done. When I start talking, I talk like I got some motherfucking sense, and you gonna listen to what I'm talking about. When your fucking manager get over here, I'm gonna tell him how disrespectful you was because I ain't appreciate that shit. When the manager get over there, I was so dissatisfied with her service. She was very rude and disrespectful to me and my family. I just came out to have a nice time, to to enjoy the food, show my kids a nice time. They're out of school, and she just came over here. She was just so dress that shit up, make it sound so good. It, it, it's, it's Fuck it, man! You get all oh, y'all get y'all food for free. <laughs> Fuck it! It's on me tonight. Yeah, <laughs> manager special. You okay? Listen, don't play with me. Don't play with me. I know how to act. Don't play. Okay, y'all. How small is too small? Meaning, how small is too small? <laughs> Meaning, how small is a small dick? It's it's like what size of a oh. dick is too small? Mm. How small is too small? I guess it all depends. It all depends. So it all depends on your liking. I don't like big dicks. I don't. I, I, I do not like big dicks because niggas with big dicks don't know how to work that shit. They be poking the fuck out your motherfucking pelvic, poking you in your stomach. I don't like that shit. Seven is fine. Seven? Seven inches. Se- yeah, se- yeah, yeah. Seven inches with but, some girth. What you call it? Girth? Girth. girth. Mean the thickness. Thick. Seven inches with some girth. Bitch, you perfect. You perfect. I can, I can, I can figure it out. I can definitely, I can, I can work for seven inches, bitch, four inches, three inches. I think what's too small is like two inches, bitch, four inches is too small. Four inches is the, the length of your dick on soft. Well, how long is my pinky? How long y'all think my pinky is? About three inches. That's, that's pretty small. Yeah, that's pretty small. Three inches. Yeah, that is. Fuck that. you gonna do with three inches? Cause your wallet must be. <sighs> Long, you must got black three, card. Wallet. Three inches gonna tickle you, bitch. You want to get tickled tonight, babe? Come on, let me tickle you. <laughs> <laughs> let me tickle you. Come on, oh. babe. Let me tickle you. I don't like that. Let too. Me, let me too, tickle you. There's a such thing as a too small dick, and bitch, it lives in America. Okay. And if your dick small, you better have you some other fucking money, and you better eat head. You better eat pussy, and ass you better be like a no head master, certified head master. <laughs> You better you better be something, cause niggas with small dicks. Listen, you only winning if you got money or you got some good fire as head. Your vibe good, bitch. I need me some real dick. That ain't real dick. That's kid dick. I feel like a pedophile, bitch. I feel like I'm fucking a, a, a kid with that Petty, give me very much pedophile vibe. She a pedophile, yeah. He he got a dingling. He ain't got no dick. He got a dingling. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck I'm up. I'm just saying, giving very much dingling vibes. Mm-hmm. I don't like dinglings. I like. Dick. Bitty, not be be not be dick, but not dick. I'm <laughs> talking <my> dick, <laughs> dick. <laughs> dick, bitch. Not ten inch, nine inch, eight inches. That's fine. I don't know. Uh, look, look, bitch. Too what's too small for me? Maybe five and below. Yeah, five and below. Yeah. You know yeah. your vagina. You know your vagina yeah. can't handle shit no, no less than four inches. So, bitch, yeah, go off for the strength of your vagina. Yeah, your vagina is about four inches deep, bitch. Work with that. Yeah. Mhm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, niggas, if y'all got little dicks, I salute y'all because it's hard out here to have a little dick. That's like a bitch walking around with a loose pussy. Like, bitch, 
Why the fuck you Every time I put my dick in, it just, just fall out. Bitch, almost, you, almost um, you, you, drowned in her pussy. You, had to swim to her butt. Listen. That's what he was talking about. Oh, bitch, that's what he was talking about. Wayne, when he was like almost drowned in her pussy, had to swim to her butt. Oh, he could have been saying her pussy was too wet. Yeah. But he could have been saying her pussy was too loose, too. Yeah. He could have yeah. been saying that, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bitch, you ain't fucking me in my ass. If my pussy too loose, bitch, wait for it to dry up because you got me fucked up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. If my pussy too loose, bitch, that means your dick too small. It's not a perfect fit. So we are not doing this anymore. <laughs> I don't have a big pussy. You have a little dick. All right. Okay. <laughs> TMI. Right. I'm just saying. So if a guy be like, oh, your pussy too, your pussy too deep, what you gonna say? I'm be like, bitch, your dick just too small. Exactly. Cause that other nigga ain't tell me that. And that other nigga, and that other nigga, and that other nigga, and all the niggas of my niggas, all the niggas of my life never told me I've that. I've never had a complaint, okay? So, I'm not tooting my own horn, but bitch, toot toot. I ain't never had no complaint. So, if, it's you, nigga. It's you, bitch. It ain't it's you. And if she and ain't getting wet, that mean, bitch, you're not turning me on. Because guess what? The vagina is going to do her job. Her job is to lubricate herself, bitch. <laughs> Don't spit on my fucking oh, pussy. Don't do that. Don't you, do that. I'd be like, you ain't got to, like. She already I wet, get bitch. serious so quick. You ain't even have to do that. I It's already wet. I feel it in the inside. It's already wet. You ain't even got to do that. You ain't got to spit started because it's already wet. If she ain't wet, that means you ain't turning her on, which means she probably don't fucking like your ass. So move Just, on. It, they they spit on it because they think it is not, it's not wet because they don't feel nothing on the outside part. Bitch, I feel it in the inside. It's wet in the inside. Like, do some foreplay or something. Do some more Bitch, shit. Suck my motherfucking nipple. Do that. Like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Shut up, uh, like no, kiss my neck, bitch. Don't suck on my neck and leave me no hickey. Oh, that pussy trash don't, because it ain't get wet. No, don't leave me no hickey. You just ain't turn me on, or you just wasn't doing shit, or I just don't like you. That's all that is. That's all that is. If she don't get wet, you ain't turning her on, or she just don't fucking like you. Simple as that. Because guess what? Our pussy works with our mind. If you not stimulating our mind, you ain't gonna stimulate that pussy. Mm-mm. No matter how much you play with her click, bitch, I've been there. I'm like, damn, girl, get wet. He ain't doing it for me. Mm-mm. Girl, yeah, now I'm being right there in the middle of action, and your pussy just won't get. Wet. She just like, won't get right. She <laughs> just won't do it. Even if, even in your head, you like, damn, I want to fuck this nigga. And y'all get to the get, y'all get to the room, and your shit won't even get wet. It's because, yeah, in your head you want to fuck him, but he not really doing it for you. Like, he ain't doing shit to turn you on, but you want to fuck him because you want to see what it's like. He, he oh, just trying to stick bitch, it in. I hate that, that shit. shit. Like, we just got to the bed, and you pulling my clothes down, and you trying to stick your dick in me already. No, it don't work like that. Like, do some shit to make it. Wait, do some shit to turn me on. Or if you feel like I'm drying up a little bit, that means, bitch, you need to. First of all, we've been having sex for too long. <laughs> or the the um fan, fan. or the oh yeah, yeah, the fan, the AC. I that always plays turn apart. turn the fan off. We probably been having sex for too long. It may be the fan, it may be the AC, but I don't know. But bitch, you need to take that shit the fuck out. Let me suck your dick a little bit. Sucking dick, in my, that's too much information. Anyway, that was TMI. Sorry, y'all. But yeah, just. Y'all work on y'all foreplay. You ain't just gotta go straight in, like, like unless you having sex with a tr- a tramp, a trick. Then that's a different story. You trying to hurry up, like the niggas who be having sex with them strippers in the club. Bitch, ain't nobody got time for all that foreplay shit. I wonder if yeah. they keep lubing their purse. You think so? I don't know. That's they a good just question. get wet automatically. Okay, I don't know. That's a good question. We should ask a stripper girl who fuck yeah. niggas in the club. Yeah, I don't think know. they'll tell us. Because mm. <laughs> first of all, ho, get out my face. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my business, bitch. I don't do that. Ho, I, I don't just do dance. that. Okay. I just dance. I just can't hear the dance. That's it. Okay. But don't do not do that. Don't just pull my clothes down and just try to put your thing inside of me. Shove because it in me. it's not even. Remember shove it in me? Yeah. It's not even wet yet. Like, really. But is it okay for guys to moan during sex, though? Bitch, you better how. Oh, bitch, you better move. E-E-I. Bitch, bark. 
I don't know, bitch. You better do something, bitch. Don't just sit there. Girl, fuck you. Because if a nigga bust out and start barking while I'm fucking <laughs> up, fuck wrong with you? <laughs> Listen, why you giving him head? He just started barking. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Bitch, I'm going to just stop. And I'm going to just be looking like, what the fuck? Bitch, did you just bark? <laughs> bitch, did you just bark at me? No, the one for me was when I was giving, I was giving some head in. If you know, you know. Y'all about to know. I was giving this this guy some hit, and he was like, "Word," and I was like, "Damn, bitch, I ain't never had, no nigga ain't never tell me that." Word. He was like, "Word, damn, that's how you doing it." Word. See, I was that's like, how you know you was doing you, sis. Girl, I was you like, was doing it. You was. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I wasn't doing it even harder. Cause guys, give me affirmation that I'm doing it. Give me affirmation that I'm making you or, feel or good. Or they be like, um, they be giving you pointers like, jacket. Yeah, or they be like, spit on that dick, babe. Spit on that dick a little bit. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, jacket a little bit. Yeah. Let me just pause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just pause you right there. Seventh Avenue Thai just bought a batch. Oh. Oh, heart. See, heart. See, heart. See, we appreciate you. it. But, but yeah, that's you. Yeah, bitch. Give me affirmation. Don't, don't have me sitting there sucking and sucking. I mean, I went like 30 minutes one time. I'm like, God damn, nigga. Like, bitch, what the fuck is you doing up there? I just really like how I feel, bitch. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> get, get, get relax. the fuck. Relax. But yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like the affirmation. Eh? I'm doing the damn thing. Like, let a bitch know if she doing it. Let her know. Co- that's what people be misunderstanding when it comes down to this whole sex thing just because she like it rough not saying she do i'm just saying just in case she, just because she like it rough that don't mean the next bitch you go for with she likes it rough that don't mean true. that just because true. she likes to be fucking pounded like a fucking hound dog don't mean the next person like like that shit so you gotta learn the person that you having sex with not everybody you're going to be able to do the same thing. Some niggas be liking their nipples being licked on or sucked on. Some of them Some don't. Some of them don't. Some people like you licking their gooch. Some of them don't. Some people like the balls being played with. Other Some niggas of them be don't. like, bitch, do not touch my motherfucking balls. That shit is really sensitive. I don't like it. So you got to learn the person that you haven't said. So if you haven't said to somebody and you say right there, that means, bitch, stay right the fuck there. If you sucking his dick and he like, damn, babe, yeah, like get it like that. Do it like that. Yeah, it's okay for him to give you pointers why he, why he, you, you know. Please yeah, because that's that's what that's how, how he likes. That's it. how he like it. You need to learn how he likes it, just like he needs to learn how you like it. Bitch, this ain't no one way street. Don't just <laughs> make me do you all good and shit, and then it's my turn. You like, uh, 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 uh. no, bitch, you just going to get down here, and eat this motherfucking cat. Get down here, eat this pussy. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> don't play. Don't play. Bitch, Four don't Marcus play. Fives just bought a batch. Heart, Heart C, we appreciate it. Marcus. Marky. That's my Marky <laughs> baby. Go to Marcus. Go, Go to, to Marcus. Marcus. Go to Marcus. Mm, 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 mm. Oh no. <laughs> but yeah, that's a that's a learn. Like not some you got some niggas that come in there and they just throw that shit the fuck down. You like, damn, what the fuck you learned that at? I'm I just the child. Relax. Relax. And you got some niggas that come in there and don't know a motherfucking thing. You don't like, know oh, shit. Bitch. What the fuck? Who the fuck you been fucking? <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> Bring my motherfucking phone, bitch. Who you been fucking? Because <laughs> I don't understand what's going on right now. I don't understand either. Um, Marky. Marky. Said, how y'all feel about being played with while giving head? Don't fucking stick your fingers in me. Don't put your fingers in my vagina. The first thing, all I think about is bacteria infection. Because, bitch, under your nails is dirty. I don't give a fuck how much you wash your hands all throughout the day, bitch. You still got a little backy. You don't know what backy me a little bacteria, a little, you know, on all the shit that you've been touching. Don't do that. Or, oh, bitch, you got long nails. Bitch, you butchering me. <laughs> I don't bitch, are you trying to cut the cake? Did you see blood coming out? Bitch, my period ain't on. I mean, <laughs> you're butchering me. <laughs> okay. No, don't do that. You can rub the clit, stimulate the clit, but don't. Yeah, don't, your don't be like, and it. don't be doing it this, with the clit. 
Oh, they going to, like, you going to beat me by the start burn, of the bitch. Thing. You going to give me carpet burn. Mm, mm, mm. Like, that's too much. Be gentle. Like, Relax. you know. Or don't be like, mm, 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 mm. How you is this? A bitch trying to beat you up, ain't it? I'm gonna be the pussy. Oh, 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 literally. Nigga, nigga trying to do that shit he seen in the flick. First of all, don't do that. I am not her. First of all, bitch, you got me fucked up. I am <laughs> not her, sweetheart. Don't do that. Uh uh-uh, uh, we ain't doing that, boss. We ain't doing that beat all. But this is y'all. A- 7 7 Mozzie said, Y'all capping. What, what if. He wash his hands in front of you. I don't give a fuck. I just sat here and said seven, seven, seven. I will literally, when you about to, first of all, I'm looking, okay, to make sure you're not about to do it. But when you do that shit, I've literally, bitch, don't. I literally, I I literally a move a bitch in and be like, don't do that, don't do that, because why the fuck is you doing it? And if you know me, and this ain't our first, okay, I understand if this our first rodeo together. So you don't know, you don't know that I don't like that. But okay, once I move your hand, and I'll tell you, don't do that, bitch. I said what I said, don't do that. So from the first time all the way into how many ever times we do it again after that, bitch, you motherfucking know. Don't do don't that. do that shit. Bae don't like me to stick my hands in her vagina. Yeah, yeah, do yeah. And yeah. don't fucking stick your hand in my ass either. That's <laughs> don't do that. And then you're going to try to put it. You do that shit, and then when you about to do missionary, you got to bypass your hand past my face to put it right here. Bitch, I smell a little booty. <laughs> I smell a little shit. I smell something. A little shit shit. Don't do that. I smell a little shit shit on your fingers. Don't do that. I don't like that. But we're going to go get into this next topic, which is how do you feel about leaving your friend or your sister around your partner? So your man at home... How you feel about leaving your your people there? So I don't give a fuck. Like if my man is home and my sister come over there while I'm at work or whatever to get from or to do something, whatever the case may be. I don't I don't give a I don't give a fuck about shit like that. N- nothing runs in my mind. Oh, they in there doing some shit together because <laughs> obviously I have trust in him that he wouldn't even try me like I'm a puss ass hoe. And obviously I have trust in you that you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even do bitch, bitch. You wouldn't even think twice about doing some shit like that. So that don't even cross my mind that a bitch would do me like that. Meaning like a sister, I don't really have friends, but like my sisters that never crossed my mind that, Oh, one of them, uh, be in there fucking my man or trying to fuck my man because that don't cross my mind how you feel yeah no i don't now if i now if i got a whole sister bitch no <laughs> and, i'm sorry but you, it ain't but you him. know you can't have a whole sister but you just know my whole sister wouldn't do no shit like that no to me. What? The whole cousin off of Oh, oh, I can't think of her fucking name. Damn, I can't think of her name. Off of Big Mama's house. She had a fuck on um, Vivica Fox. Was that Vivica Fox's husband? I, I don't know. Vivica One Fox's of the cousins. Cousin. One of the cousins. But anyway, how I feel. Corner said, I'm not leaving friends around my husband because whole sneaky. I said friends and or sisters, which hoes. both hoes. Key words. Hoes. Hoes. Okay. hoes. Ho- Listen. I'm not nobody motherfucking babysitter, bitch. You was a grown motherfucker. I'm not about to sit here and play these fucking mind games. Oh, is he doing this? Is he doing that? Is she going to do this? Is she going to... Bitch, if I don't motherfucking trust you, I ain't trust you before you got around my nigga. So, bitch, you won't be around my nigga while I ain't there. You won't be around my nigga, period, while I am there because, bitch, you're not going to be my friend because, bitch, I don't trust you. Yep. That's just what and it that's is. Just, that's just I'm, that. I'm not about to play this whole little game and I got to be there or you got to... I got to I gotta be there. I got to be there. Before you can come in my I'm house not, with my man, I'm not doing all that because it done been like nah, I ain't stupid. doing, I ain't doing all that. If I gotta do all that, then bitch, no, you don't need, you don't need to be rhyming. First of all, that's an insult. That's an insult to whoever your friend is in the first place. Because bitch, are you saying you don't trust me, or are you saying you don't trust your trick ass nigga? Which one? Because if I was your friend and you told me some shit like that, I would get I offended. Would, I would get offended because bitch, I've never given you. I never even looked at one of them niggas that you talk to like that. Cause bitch, them niggas, that's your nigga. That's, that's your, that's your dust. 
sis, that's not my dust. I can't go double back on it unless, okay, unless we done talked about it. Because like, sometimes bitches share niggas. Unless that's the case. But my man, my nigga, bitch, we're not sharing him. My man, the one I love, like I'm in love with this nigga, we're not going to share him. We're not doing that. So that's an insult to your friend or your homegirl, whatever you want to call her. Let me just say this right quick. The topic is, do you think women or... Oh, wait. Why the fuck is you yelling? Because <laughs> I can't... Down. It's making you yell. <laughs> How do you feel about leaving your friend or sister alone around your partner? If I don't trust you, bitch, you're not going to be around him. You're not going to be around, period. Because, bitch, I don't trust you. That's just what it is. If you got to do all that. You yeah. might you might get my phone and get his number out of my phone and you going to go home and text him. <laughs> Girl. So if I got to do all that and be do all that extra shit, you not going to be around me to even be around my motherfucking nigga. That's some sneaky ass that's shit. Some, that's some. But you got women, you got girls that's like that. But at the end of the day, you know your friend before if you if she your friend, homegirl, or whatever the fuck you want to call her, per se. then you should know her. You should know her behavior. You should know how she go. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you know that's not a person that you could trust on your inner circle, why the fuck would you be bringing her in your inner circle? Which is in your motherfucking house, around your nigga. And then on top of that, do you not trust your man or do you not trust her? That's the question you need to ask yourself. Your man a trick? If your man a trick, it don't matter whether she your homegirl or she not your homegirl. He gonna trick. Exactly. Bitch, he could be your motherfucking sister, cousin, auntie, bitch. If he want a trick, he gonna motherfucking trick. I done had it happen to me. Well, a motherfucker told me, bitch, you can't come in my house while my man here and I ain't here. You gonna have to wait outside. I felt a certain kind of way because, bitch, what the fuck? I never gave you the... You know, the, the I also that I would do something that, like that. That also could be insecurity too, right? Even though you never gave a bitch that feeling or anything like that, that you would do some shit like that, her fuck her man or anything like that, bitches be insecure. insecure. And it ain't yeah, that you I ne- do yeah, that. I never gave you that type of vibe. I never gave you any of that that I fuck your nigga. But you got bitches that's insecure. You insecure, then you insecure, bitch. You can't. I can't help you with that. You just an insecure motherfucker. You need to fix that shit all by yourself. Cause guess what? Even when I'm not around, he may be around the next bitch, and he gonna get that dick up. He ain't gonna give it to me, cause bitch, I don't want your motherfucking man. But the next bitch do, the next bitch do. I know that nigga. I know the shit he taking you through. Why the fuck would I be wanting to be fucked up with him? I don't know. I'm just saying. Bitches be insecure. Bitches be insecure. It done been times where she done came in. Well, actually, today. Today. I haven't. I wasn't home. I was doing whatever it is I was doing. And my, my nigga was in the house. And she came over here. And, yeah. But not in any time in my mind did I think, oh, bitch, she finna fuck my nigga. Oh, bitch, my nigga finna fuck her. Oh, my nigga finna try her. Like, nah, it ain't even that type of party. Because if I felt like that way about her, bitch, you got to wait until I make it home. And if that nigga give you the vibe, if, ladies, if that nigga even give you the vibe that he would try your friend or look at, just ca- just look at him. Just look at him. When your friends around, your girlfriends around, just look at him. Sisters, look how he looks. Sisters. sisters, girlfriends, whatever you want to call, whatever that is to you. Just look at him out of the corner. If he even look like looking at one of them a certain kind of way, bitch, it's him. You ain't crazy, sis. It's him. Watch that nigga because he going to try one of them. And he going to pick out the weak link out of, out of your little crew. He going to pick the weak link. And that's the one he going to be fucking in your house while you end up. Yep. Want to say um, you also have women that be around you that want what you have. Exactly. If you That's definitely. True. That's true. You do. You they do. envy you on the low. But I don't have low. nobody around me that. That you know me, of. That I know of that envy me. That you know of. That I know of. I for damn sure don't. Bitch, I'm over here living my life on my own. Bitch, I ain't got time for all that. Like, why? You don't know what people go through in their relationships. You don't know what really happens when you're not around. Behind them. closed you doors. Know. You don't know. Like, you can't want somebody fucking life. You don't know what the fuck these people go through behind closed doors. Yeah, it looks like glitz and glamorous, but bitch, what about when ain't no cameras and ain't nobody there? Then what? Them bitches be in there tussling, scraping Argy. knees, busting each other across the motherfucking head. That nigga be cheating. That hoe don't be coming home some nights. All type of shit be going on, but, but you even, want what these people got. 
But even if he is a good man and he treat her the way he treat her, treat her like a fucking queen, like every woman on America want to be treated. Even if that is the case and he, you know, A through Z for niggas. I mean, he the top notch motherfucking nigga. And that's the case. What's for her is for her. That man ain't going to love you the way that he love his motherfucking girlfriend. What's for her is for her. What's for you is for you. Bitch, focus on what's for you. Don't worry about what, what next person got. Last but not least, have you ever sucked dick from the back? <laughs> bitch, no. That's stupid. Why? That's too close to the asshole. It made me feel like, bitch, you want me to eat your ass? First of all, how am I going to suck your dick from the back? Are you on f- all four? Gotta Are be. Gotta be. Gotta be. Over? You Are gotta you be on all four. Am I stand, Am I behind you while you... I don't, I don't see it not working. Like, you gotta be on all four. Like what other, standing up. what other standing way can you suck a nigga then, dick from the bed if he not on all four? They could be standing up and then you like this. That's that sound like it's gonna hurt your neck. That's stupid as fuck. That's what, <laughs> that's what it is. Stupid as fuck. Like, now you finna you make me up? once we finish this podcast. You finna make me go on the porn site and look up bitches sucking dick from the bed because I can't see it no other way besides the nigga being on all four. And fuck you on all four for. He wants you to eat that ass, baby. <laughs> They eat my ass. I, I just, I just, uh, wanna about that's gay. That's <laughs> I fuck, just like, don't, I just don't see it. Like, I just don't see me eating. I mean, me suck your dick from the back because it's too close to the ass. But would you be able to be in a relationship with a bisexual man? What? No, bitch. That mean you fucking that nigga in his ass and you coming and fucking me in my pussy. Ain't no such ain't no such thing of a, of a bisexual nigga, bitch. You is gay, <laughs> okay? Fuck all the chitter chat and he he ha ha dressing that shit up to make it be what it is. I ain't got nothing against gay people. Let me tell you this: my brother is gay and my sister is gay, not her, but I got a gay sister. That's cool. That's fine. That's them. I still love them the same. Wait, it don't fucking matter. But it ain't no such thing as a bisexual guy. Bitch, you is gay. Once you have sexual intercourse, do anything sexual with a man, bitch, you is gay. You done fucked that man in his ass. You done ate that man ass. You done sucked that man dick. You done did all this to this man. Bitch, you is gay. You is not bisexual. And it ain't nothing nobody can fucking tell but me. He can be bisexual. <laughs> Bise- you know what bisexual is, right? Yeah. You know what it is? Yes. Okay, so he can be bisexual. He want to have sex with men and he want to have sex with women. That's bisexual. No, no. It's just like it, women want to have sex with I a think, man. I think it's a double standard. It, it, it's, it is <laughs> a double it's, standard. A, it's a double standard because it is. I feel like a woman can be bisexual, but a man can't be bisexual. <laughs> a woman can fuck a bitch and a nigga. And it's all cool. But ain't no such thing as a fucking nigga being bisexual. Bitch, you is gay. And you ain't finna come fuck me after you done fuck that nigga. He definitely can't. I am opposed <laughs> to dating a man that's bisexual. I'm not with it. I don't I don't like the idea of it. I can I can live with you fucking other pussies. I can't live with you fucking niggas in the ass. I can't live with Oh, that. like that fucking movie, what it was? Um uh, Four Color Girls or something when that when that man pushed the baby out the window? Remember Janet Jackson, her husband, um, that she was married to, bitch. He was fucking a fucking man, bitch. What the fuck they gotta do? With oh, anything? I don't know what they gotta do with anything, <laughs> but I just felt like that was relevant. I can't, I, I, I can't get jiggy with it. I don't feel comfortable with it. I don't, I don't like it. If it's for you, it's for it's you. It's for you. It's for you. What's what? If you like it, you like it. Hey, me, honey, me, I ain't with it. Moi. I, I don't, I don't even. I don't I even play the radio. You to be in me and other motherfuckers that have the same thing I have, which is a pussy. If you're gonna be talking or you're gonna be with other females, cool. But you can't be with other females and other niggas. No. You can explore your sexuality. That's cool, baby. You do what you do. We could be friends. We could be friends. We can't be fuck friends. We could be friends because I just don't believe that we. I can't be able to have sex confidently with you and knowing that you have sex with men like that just just, knowing that you fucking Jerry in the ass. I don't have nothing against gay people. Me either. It is what it is. You know, you like what you like, but it's just everybody is created different in the world. You know, who, who, who am I? Who am I to judge? You know, 
I I'm I, suck I, ain't, dick. I don't I don't most judge. people don't suck dick. Most people feel like that's just nasty as fuck. I suck dick. I, I actually love it. So therefore, who am I to judge you for liking the fuck niggas, other niggas in ass? I have no judgment here. But as far as me and my personal preference in in my bed, I prefer my man to be straight. And if he is going to be doing anything else, extracurricular activities, I prefer to be with other women. That's my personal preference. I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't see why we should have to be okay with that shit. Like, <laughs> I don't see why we should have to be okay with, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of a bisexual people, gay people that feel like, you know, what? what's the big deal? It ain't no big deal. We got the same thing. Y'all y'all have an ass. We have an ass. It, no, it, bitch, it, there's a difference. It's a big deal it's, to me. It's not about the actual that okay it is about the sex it is about the sex it is about you actually having sex with another man but it's more so of a mental thing like now you just took my whole security away like the whole security of you being a man like the man that i in my head like don't intertwine with other men like it just don't make sense to me it's not the masculinity is just gone for me and that's what i look for in a man the masculinity like you want your man to be masculine you want your man to be bold you want your man to be you know there for protective when you think of your man having sex with another man all that just goes the fuck away it go like yeah. it deflate like a balloon bitch that's it so no for me it's a no it's a fucking hell fucking no motherfucker shit damn bitch no all that oh. <laughs> all okay that. well i said what i said bitch i don't believe that I don't believe in a man being bisexual. <laughs> Y'all can come for me later. My yeah. LGB, B, LGBTQT they done community. Added some more in them letters, letters to it. To but but Y'all can come for me later. But, but everybody got they feel. Everybody had a personal opinion. And I am talking about my personal opinion. Not everybody else's personal opinion. Yeah, That's it, just how I feel. Everybody's created equal because we all pay motherfucking taxes. And, I'm and, in they, bitch, and we all bleed red. <laughs> Regardless on our sexuality, bitch, we still got to pay taxes. So we stand together, sweetheart. We just don't want to fuck together. That's all. <laughs> hey. That's all. That's it. it. Is, hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> But we going to leave that there because that's another topic for another day. <laughs> another topic for another day. We got y'all. Trust trust us. We always come back with the shits, okay? So don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Smooch Loves Honey. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you're not already subscribed, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button so y'all can know and keep up with us because we we be with the shit, right? Keep up with us, yes, because we is the who's of all who's. <laughs> so we going to let y'all go. Go back to y'all lives. Do whatever it is that y'all do when we not around. Peace. Got to stop the camera. And uh, are you ending the life? Amen. Amen. Amen.